love going to the movies at Tiff Bell Lightbox. The big screen, great sound, popcorn. But most of all, I love the way we watch a movie in a darkened room with a beam of light from a projector, traveling over our heads to cast an image on our screen. It's really kind of magical. Incidentally, Psst. hey Nat, look at the screen. Sibel, is that you? Yup, check this out. Cool. Are you making shadow puppets using the light from the projector? Where'd you learn to do that? My friends and I learned from a theater artist named Noah Marcus. Let me show you. My name is Noah Marcus. I'm a physical theater performer. I specialize in mime, movement, mask, clowning, and hand shadow puppets. I started off in a show that the Canadian Opera Company put together called The Nightingale and Other Short Fables. And there we studied uh, hand shadow puppets with a fellow by the name of Philippe Beau from Paris. He introduced me to this whole repertoire of hand shadow puppets. It's such a simple way of storytelling. It's possibly the first way of storytelling. Imagine the caveman sitting around a fire and the fire is projecting light on the cave wall and here I come and I'm going to tell you the story of my big hunt. So it's just a terrific way of illustrating different animals in different moments. The closer you come to the, to the light source, the bigger your shadow is and the closer you get to the wall, the crisper your shadow is. And you can do hand shadow puppets anywhere you want. You can do it in your room, you can do it on the street with the sunlight, it's terrific. Hey, Sabelle. Hey, Nat. I really liked what Noam said about how the discovery of fire was like inventing the first projector. And people would still use fire to project images until the light bulb was invented. And soon after that, it became possible to record an image by exposing film to light and then project that same image. It's almost like recording and projecting shadows. I think it's a little more complicated than that. Yeah, it is. Let's ask Andre to explain. Film works by light shining through a succession of images which you can see with your, with your own eye, which forms an image on a lens and then projects on, onto a wall. But the way that the image is formed in the digital cinema projector is that instead of shining light through film, there uh, actually is as a chip, and it's called a micro-mirror display because there's millions of tiny little mirrors on it that can, that can reflect light or not reflect light. So depending on what, what information is sent to the chip, it aligns its mirrors in a different pattern which, which mimics sort of what, what the image is and then that reflects light and, and then that is projected. But it's a little bit more complex than that. If you combine different colors, you can basically get all the colors of the spectrum. If you combine all colors equally, you get, you get white light. So, there's a chip that, that's responsible for just the red information in the picture, one for just the green information in the picture, one for just the blue information in the picture, and then the, they are all creating image, and then those, those combine within the projector for one, one uh, complete color image. It's amazing how far we've come from casting shadows on our cave wall. And how, despite all these changes, projectors are still just using light to cast an image. Hey, want to do some shadow puppets before the movie starts? Well, I don't want to disturb anyone else at the movie. It's fun to do shadow puppets, but it's pretty rude to do them in a movie theater. Oh, calm down. There's no one in here. This is a video for the DigiPlay space. <laughs> 